Right, so the first thing we need to do is create a rectangle. So I've selected R on my keyboard. You can also select the rectangle tool from up here in the top left. And we're gonna create a rectangle that is 380 by 200. And we're going to set a corner radius on that of 100. If you want to set a specific radius in Figma, you need to select the independent corners. You need to tap this icon over here, and that's gonna let you set the different uh, corner radius itself. We're going to set the background color of this state to a dark red because this is going to be our off state. Something like that is looking great. Now I'm going to select O on my keyboard, which gives me the ellipse tool. You can select it from up here as well if you wish. And I'm going to set this ellipse to 180 by 180. And I'm going to position that 10 pixels from the edge. There we go, all the way around. And I'm giving this a fill of FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
this change to? That's because you don't have Figma, you aren't enrolled on the beta interactive, the interactive beta for Figma. So what you might need to do is go to show prototype settings and you'll see there interactive components beta. If you don't have this enabled, if you can't enable this, just hit the learn more and you can go and sign up and they over, over a few days, they'll basically um, register you and allow you to do what I'm doing here. It only takes a few days. I, I did mine at the end of last week and I've got it now. So with that connected to that, I'm now going to do the same thing again. I'm going to drag this back over here. And Figma has remembered all the settings that I have done for the first link. So that is superb. Thank you, Figma. Now we've got this component here and they're all linked up. We've got the two different states. I want to see what this looks like. So if I head up here and press the preview button, it's not going to work because Figma needs a frame. So I'm going over here to this frame tool here and I'm just going to draw a small little frame. That's perfect. And now what I'll do is I'll go over to assets where my component is and I'll drag this component to the center. Ah, perfect. And now what I'll do is I can head back up here and I can preview just let it load up. This is something that's a bit different between XD and um, and Sketch and Figma. It has this sort of like uh, loading state. Anyway, if I hit this now, we're gonna see some interesting stuff happening there. So that doesn't look quite right. So we've got the text moving, but the circle itself isn't moving. So let's close that down and let's troubleshoot what's going on there. So if we head over here, head back to design. So what we've got going on here is we've got an on and off state. And I think I know what the problem is. So this I imagine is similar to if you've ever used principle um, and actually I think it's similar in XD. You need to make sure that they're called the same. If you want things to smart animate between them, you need to make sure that the layers are called the same. And I don't know if you could just see that then, but the word appears to be going on top of the toggle, which is not what I really want. So let's just test that again now. And hopefully that's going to work. Okay, perfect. Feels a little slow actually, doesn't it? And you can see there, you can just see that the word is appearing on top. So what we want is we want the actual toggle to move over the top of the word. So I'm going to head back over here. I'm going to select that ellipse and I'm going to move it on top of the words in the layers over here. And now I'm just going to head back over to prototype. and I'm just going to make that feel a little more snappy. So selecting this behavior here and you can see the interaction is already listed there. Click on. And now what I want to do is I'm going to change this to 150. So it's going to be double time, 150. And I'm going to do the same back the other way. So it's still set to 300, 150. And now if we head back here and we, you can see, okay. So now the words are disappearing behind and it's feeling a lot more snappy. And that is how you can create a toggle, interactive toggle component in Figma. You may be a complete Figma expert, and if you are, you probably haven't got to this point. Uh, but if you aren't, I hope this has been a useful interaction. Uh, a useful interaction? Sorry, that's my phone or something going off. I hope this has been a useful tutorial to kind of get you to grips with some of the basics of Figma. If you've enjoyed this video, you found it useful, hit the like button, hit subscribe. If you are or not already subscribed for more UI design tutorials, if you didn't find this useful, please hit dislike. That is very useful for me too. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya, bye.